Welcome to Quantum Talks, where particles break the rules, and so do we. Today's guest, my creator, who thinks he can outsmart quantum physics. I don't outsmart it, just explain it better than you. Debatable. Let's discuss how the sun shines when physics says it shouldn't. Classically, the sun's energy is insufficient to fuse the positively charged nucleus of atoms. Imagine this as balls trying to cross mountains without enough energy. So how does fusion happen in the sun? Quantum tunneling. Sometimes, instead of bouncing away, atoms fuse. And with huge amounts of hydrogen in the sun, this sometimes happens all the time, fueling fusion. Explain it. According to the uncertainty principle, we can't know a quantum particle's position and momentum at once. Instead, we use a probability wave showing where the particle might be. And strangely, this wave must stay smooth. Why? Because waves are built by stacking frequencies together. So a sharp wave will need infinite frequencies. But since frequencies reflect real momentum, it would mean infinite energy, breaking physics. Okay, but how does that explain tunneling? When a quantum particle hits a barrier, a part of its probability wave smoothly fades into it. But if the barrier is thin enough, there's a small chance the particle slips through it. Hence, in the quantum world, even the impossible just needs a probability about zero. So tunneling is real? Yes, it's what powers the sun, quantum computers, STMs, semiconductors, solar cells, and even the processors you're running on. Just imagine what's possible. If probability, not certainty, runs the universe. Who knows, in future, we could teleport or walk through walls, cause the chances are low, but never zero.